All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So one thing, uh, I want to go ahead and give you a follow-up 72 hours later. And um, I'm going to be honest. Um, so there's there's a lot to like about this device. Uh, and I'm going to start with the point that <laughs> that shocked me, actually, uh, after charging this phone a few times over the last three days or so. Um, the battery. I've had to charge the battery pretty much at the end of the day. Uh, meaning I'm not getting the screen on time that I thought I was going to get. I thought that because this phone had a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, pretty much running the same software, uh, as the, uh, 10 L, um, I'm not, I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting, uh, days on a charge. I'm not, I'm barely getting through 24 hours on a charge, but I can get 23. I think the most I've seen was maybe 26 one time. But on average, I'm grabbing six to six and a half hours of screen on time. Now, that's good battery. That's good battery. It's not that it's bad battery. I just figured since this has an AMOLED display, I kept a dark wallpaper on it overall pretty much, that I would be getting this stellar battery compared to the 10L. Uh, when it turns out that this battery life is pretty much equal to the 10L, in my opinion, uh, from my usage, um, I'm getting about the same on both phones, six and a half, uh, maybe six, six and a half hours screen on time on every charge. And again, that's great battery, but I think I set my expectations a lot higher because it has a 45 million, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And then also it's pretty much a stock phone, folks. There's not much to it. You've got some of their software on there. As you can see, this is a fast menu system. Uh, their software isn't clunky by any means. This is a great, great uh, heart, uh, software experience. If you like stock Android, you'll love this software. There's nothing different. Uh, and you know, it's just, um, for some reason, the battery, I'm not getting all the battery. I thought I was going to get now with that being said, uh, after the battery, I've haven't really had any complaints about this phone. Uh, the software experience, like I said, is really good. It's a fast phone overall. Um, I did test the cameras and normally I would do a separate camera review for the devices, but I'm going to go ahead and put the cameras because uh, I did a quick, it's not, I guess you could see it's a review of the cameras. It's definitely a look at the cameras. I'll show you some photos uh, and then, you know, maybe the front camera and the rear camera. Now the front camera and the rear camera perform differently depending on the lighting. So it's, depending on where you are with this camera, I did it with artificial lighting and uh, regular light and both came out fantastic. Uh, the front camera to me is the winner for vlogs. They did a great job on this 24 megapixel front camera uh, and the rear camera, I don't like it as much as I like the front camera for vlogs. Uh, and I really mean the quality. So I could use the rear camera to shoot videos of other things, but I noticed when shooting myself, uh, it, I just wasn't as pleased uh, to the eye. It wasn't as pleasing to the eye, in my humble opinion, as the front camera. So I'll let you look at the front camera and the rear camera, and then you can be the judge of what you see. Uh, but again, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I think the front camera for vlogs is better than the rear camera for vlogs. And then uh, the rear camera does better for video of other things. Uh, so... Photos turned out great, so let's just pause for a second and take a look. All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So let's talk about the cameras on the TCL 10 Pro. This is, in fact, the front camera, and I got to tell you, I'm kind of impressed. Um, the camera on the TCL 10 was actually really hot too. Uh, and in this video, like I do in all videos, we give you some samples of photos and things like that. And um, we give you uh, rear, rear footage, but I'm looking at the viewfinder folks. I mean, this is a 24 megapixel shooter on the front. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm just gonna look over here for a second. It looks great to me. I mean, I. It, it looks fantastic. There might be some color shift. Any color shift? No. No, no color shift. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, my shirt is the color it is. My face is the color it is, it appears. I'm a little ashy. I didn't put any lotion on. Uh, but my beard, my gray, it, it looks 
it looks good, man. I mean, what do you guys? Oh, when I put my hand up, there's some color shift. There we go, a little bit of color shift. Some cameras do that, some don't. Uh, but that's a real fast color shift. But ultimately, this footage on here is actually fantastic. This footage might, I don't know if it's messing with my HTC U11, I'm not gonna go that far, <laughs> but because uh, the HTC U11, in my humble opinion, has the best front camera on any phone that I own, that I own. So uh, we'll take a look at the rear, uh, we'll look at some photos, uh, and then we'll come back and then we'll we'll close this out. But all right, guys. So uh, here is the rear uh, on the phone. Now I did notice something on the rear, and I'll see this footage after I look at it after the recording. But I noticed that the even though this is a 64 megapixel shot on the rear, camera main shoot on the rear, I noticed that maybe I have to turn off the HDR or something because I noticed there's just like a tent. Uh, and the the footage that it gives so ultimately the footage looks good but there's some kind of like orange reddish tint or something like that but I'm gonna check and see if HDR is on or off and then I'll shoot this part of the video again not gonna I'm gonna show this but then you're gonna see if in fact I can switch to HDR off and see if that makes a difference All right, so there you have it. That is your look at the quick look at the cameras. Um, again, I normally I would go into this big detail thing, but it's no need to do that. So let's uh, seventy two hours with this thing. I definitely did a little bit of gaming, uh, and I learned that gaming on here is better uh, than. Oops, let me turn on Wi Fi. Gaming on here is better than um, the six sixty five. Uh, for some reason, the the games just really play really well on here, uh, and let's close this out and start over. Um, I, I really I really like gaming on this phone. It's very smooth, and you see gaming mode. I have it set to automatically come on. Um, the games perform very well. Now this game right here is somewhat of a graphic intense game. Um, it's somewhat of a graphic intense game, uh, but let's claim it later. Um, all right. Okay. 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 Uh, oh boy, <laughs> I, I guess if it's a club race, I'll jump in on it just to, nope, I missed it. So I missed the club race, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, uh, a quick race here. I'll claim all that later. Let's do a multiplayer race real quick. Let's see if I can still get in on this one. Uh, yeah, I can. So um, this gaming on this phone has been great, uh, in, in my opinion, man. It's been really solid. I haven't had any problems with lag and things like that. Uh, it, I have it set to go all the way up in graphics uh, when playing. The, um, the Snapdragon 675 is definitely different than the Snapdragon 670. And a lot of you guys are saying, hey, you know, Jay, I wish they would have put uh, a higher processor in this thing and, and I don't disagree for 450 I'm not gonna get on video and tell you that this is the best phone on the market because it's not uh, it's just another option for you guys so let's look at some gameplay real quick and um, yeah I mean this is definitely a nice performing uh, game uh, it it doesn't do anything no stuttering no lag from what I could tell from watching this thing there's a little bit right there <laughs> as soon as i said that but it's definitely a different feel for, dang i crashed man um it's definitely a different feel from uh the snapdragon uh 665 the snapdragon 665 doesn't play as smooth as this game uh plays the games
it doesn't. So I personally like the way this game plays, uh, this phone plays this game, and I think it does exceptionally well for what it is. Um, but let's be clear here. There are definitely other phones out there uh, that you could grab for 450 bucks. And I'm not going to get on video and tell you that this is the new $450 king. It could be considered a flagship kit. Some people, you guys take that a little too serious when I say that. Um, I don't mean that this phone is going to be better than every flagship out there. I'm making a point to say that, you know, OnePlus used to be the flagship killers. Uh, and then they pretty much, they're done with that. So I'm looking for a phone that, that probably doesn't have the highest processor that can still perform at that level. Now, I think this phone definitely can perform at that level. Some of you guys are really beating this phone up because it doesn't have at least a Snapdragon 700 series. Uh, and, you know, take it up with TCL, man. I didn't, I didn't make the phone. I'm just giving it to you and giving you my opinion on it. But I will say that I'm not disappointed with this device in any kind of way. And, and the battery life, even though I started with that, it's not disappointing. I, again, I set my expectations way too high, and I figured since it's pretty much a stock experience that I would go ahead and get some performance uh, in the battery uh, to match that. So with that being said, um, overall, man, this phone has been really solid. It's, there's no complaints. I don't have a complaint about this device uh, pretty much at all. It's... it's is it worth 450? You guys are gonna say, is it worth 450, Jay? Would you buy 450? Um, realistically, I probably would do about 399. That would be something that I would, and I'm pretty sure if you stay stay on point, you might see this thing drop to 399 soon. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just get the devices and review them. So, um, 399, and even at 399, you've got phones out there from Xiaomi, and, and it's funny you guys talk about oh those Chinese phones, those Chinese phones. But ever since I brought this phone in the mix, and it's a phone that's officially sold in the U.S., you guys are now talking about the phones that I tried to promote before. I tried to tell you about Xiaomi. I tried to tell you about Huawei. Nobody wanted to hear that, and now all of a sudden, everybody's oh well, I can get this and I can get this. So I say to those people that, you know, that if you're skeptical about this device, buy it if you want to. Don't buy it when it comes out. For those that are asking when it's coming out, May is supposed to be the launch date. Uh, but I, I say that $399 might be um, a spot, a sweet spot for a lot of people. And even at $450, i am not saying it's like not worth $450. I wouldn't pay $450 for this in the end now that I'm using it because the battery life is really important to me. And I'm sucking while I'm playing. I never come in last place. Um, but the battery life, and that, I think that played pretty well. I think that did exceptionally well. Uh, but, you know, performance, battery life, all of these things play a part to me. And um, I, I just feel like this phone coming in at 450 is kind of walking the line. You know what I mean? It's, it's walking the line. And because you're going to start talking about other flagships from two years back or a year back, the Note 9, the Note 10, the Note 8, the S9. You're going to talk about all these phones that you can now get at that same price point. So I leave that up to you. You you tell me if you think you would pay 450 for this phone or you put the price that you might want to pay for. This is just a 72 hour follow up. It's not my full review. Uh, but I don't think this phone is going to do bad in a review for me because by the time I give a full review in the next 30 days or so, maybe this battery will have increased a little bit with more usage. Remember, it's only been 72 hours. So uh, my first impressions is this is my first impressions after using this for three days straight. So I think that this is a great performing phone. It has really strong cameras. Battery life is good, not spectacular because I have phones that with the same size battery or a little bit more, and they go like 16 hours, 12 hours. So optimization is key. So I think with a software update, the cameras can be better. And with a software update, the batteries might be better to help stop things from running in the background. And I could, it's probably, it could be some apps in the background that might pull a little bit more resources than I would like. But ultimately, folks, I'm telling you, this is a great phone. And even though I say my price, my starting price might be $399, TCL, I know they're watching. I know they're listening, saying, okay, Jay's, Jay's thinking probably $399. Maybe they'll give a special or something like that for some holiday. I don't know. But 
450 is somewhat of a fair price if that's going to be the final cost of it. Uh, but if it's not the final cost and it drops below 450, then I'm I'm all in pushing it heavily uh, to consumers, telling them, you know, I'm using this phone. I think it's great. Uh, but um, performance, battery, cameras, what more do you want? Software. Uh, and it's also a very beautiful device. So with that being said, kind of a lengthy discussion today. Apologize for that. But this is a good phone. So I wanted to give it to you. Uh, and a follow up review on this a follow up um little well follow review a seventy two hour review i should say uh my seventy two hours later because uh, you know you got these embargoes i can't do a full review yet <laughs> but um uh, seventy two hours with this phone man um it's very solid i love the hardware oh my gosh i love this hardware i think it is so beautiful man it's a very nice and light phone it just feels great. And as you notice, I'm not wearing a case. Uh, it feels really good. This is a win right here for TCL. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, again, I apologize for a little bit of lengthy 72-hour follow-up for you guys. But there's a lot going on here. I'm processing a lot. So I can't get it all into uh, 15 minutes, but I'm squeezing it in. So uh, maybe I'll do a live stream or something like that, q and I, I don't know. Don't hold me to that. But I, I don't really feel like doing live streams right now. But uh, I'll, I'll think of something. And uh, we'll, we'll follow me on on uh, on uh, my YouTube community page. I put a lot of posts up there, questions and stuff like that, Q&As on there. And uh, follow me on Instagram as well. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Brief, <laughs> right, 13, 14, almost 15 minutes to the point. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to comment below.